Good morning, everyone. Today is Friday, and I pray and I hope that each and every one of you had a beautiful and a safe night's sleep last night. I doubly pray that when the Lord woke you this morning, the first thing that rolled off of your lips was thank you, Lord, for another opportunity to get it right. Just in case I missed something on yesterday, you've given me a second chance, and I thank you. You may be getting ready to prepare breakfast for your children, for your husband, for yourself. Or you may be getting ready to drop the children off to school, go to the grocery store, go to work, or take care of the business of the day. Whatever your endeavor is today, before you start your day, I ask you to open your ears, radiate your mind, and let it flow on down to your heart. And you may be able to receive the word of the morning. And the word of the morning is that sweet, that beautiful, that glorious word called grace. Grace. G-R-A-C-E. Grace is the ongoing benefactor, benevolent act of God working in us, without which we can do nothing. Just simple as that, without grace. We would really be in a whole lot of trouble without grace. In the Bible, grace is seen as God's willingness to forgive and cleanse individuals of their sins when they repent and turn to him. Have you thought about repenting this morning for something that you may have done that was not under the umbrella of the Lord, was not in obedience to the Lord. God's grace is defined as undeserving favor. We didn't need it. We didn't deserve it. But God, being a loving God, knew just how weak we were and we needed some strength. Grace cannot be earned. I don't care how much money you got. You can't earn grace. I don't care what your status is in life. You can't earn grace that way. You have to surrender your sins to the Lord. It is something that is freely given. And you know, we're getting ready for the season of giving. And we pray that everybody is giving freely and not for anything in return just because of the grace that was given to you, you want to pass that grace on to someone else. See the book of Ephesians 2, 2 and 8, verses 2 and 8 read, Wherein, in times past, you walked according to the course of this world. And this world has nothing to offer you that's free. According to the prince of the powers of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. Sin is just plain disobedience. That's what it is. Eight says, for by grace are you saved through faith. Where's your faith? Who's your faith in? How much faith do you have? And that's not of yourselves. 
It is the gift of God. Isn't that beautiful? To have a gift that will save your life eternally. So this morning, before you start, please understand that the Lord Jesus, God's only son, paid the greatest price that any man would ever have or could ever have paid for you and me. He gave us the ultimate gift. That prize was life with him, with him. And, and we were once deep in our sins. So grace just means he loved us. He loved us to free us. He broke the shackles. He unlocked the prison doors. We were dead and buried in our sins, and he unlocked the dungeon door to let us out. Who do you love this morning that you would like to pass that gift on, which is grace? Grace. Pass it on today. If you're going to the grocery store, pass grace on. If you're on the job, pass grace on. Whatever endeavor you do today, make sure that you give out the grace that was freely given to you and I. Let us remember the words of this. It is the gift of God. Be blessed today. And if the Lord Jesus Christ says the same, I'll see you on Monday. Have a safe and a beautiful and a blessed weekend. But remember to pass the gift that was freely given to you. Grace. Grace.